up today, boys? We got the full crew. So, uh, Luke, you've been absent for a while, haven't you? Yeah, I've been, battling, uh, I've been battling spiders and uh, going out and playing golf like an old man. Golf? And traveling. Yeah. Like Try real golf battle. or Mi yeah, mini like, golf? I mean, as opposed Mario to golf? what? You're not oh, playing like golden real, tea, are you? A real adult golf, like uh, get the little knickers and the, the Payne Stewart hat, the memorial clothing. But isn't, that kinda, to you, man? isn't that kind of sunny? It's awesome. I love it out there. Among nature. Huh. Among, like, yeah. well, the remade version of nature. Like, <laughs> if God had done it right, this is how nature would have been. If he had groomed it properly. Yeah. If he, if he took care of things well. But instead, <laughs> he had to create his slaves. Or his so slaves what, had to evolve. What, what made you get into golf, Luke? Um, Actually, I've been playing golf for probably well, uh, 20 years, I guess. Just kind really? of sad because I'm not very good. So you've yeah, always been, been this kind of closet, like elitist snob sort of dude. Oh, I, I didn't think there was anything in the closet about that. <laughs> I don't think that would surprise anyone. Do you, uh, go yeah, to no, the, do you go to the kind of country clubs that Engai and I wouldn't be allowed into? <laughs> no, we don't really go to the to, to country clubs. It's just a, okay. a group of us from work go out and play every weekend or so. So if if Angai and I wanted to come up and golf with you, you wouldn't have to have some sort of awkward, you know, thing about how we weren't allowed in. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think we would have to do that. This, now the swimming club I go to, <laughs> that <laughs> the one in Philadelphia. Yeah, I actually go there specifically just to swim. I just, I, I really like the lifeguards there. They're really kind, and so I, I you know, I go there. I like the, I like the water in Philadelphia. It's good. Wow. Yeah, that was a crazy story. I don't know if it's entirely been uh, been sorted out. And it's kind of weird, too, because I, I read one story where they made a they, they interviewed uh, the mother of uh, this woman who's a member and goes there with her kid. And the story said that, well, her son was her son was of mixed race. But they didn't really go any further, so I don't know what that means. That you know, half of him was okay to be in the pool, and the other half wasn't, or was it all? Son, son, some... son, son! You can't go any further than that. You need to stop right. There. You need to stop right there. And guy, do you want to uh, back up and tell, uh, in case people don't know what you're talking about? Um, tell the story. Yes, there. that would be a good idea. So there was a uh there were some kids who went to um well actually that's not even the full story what happened was is um there were some kids i believe like summer was out and they were doing some sort of swimming um uh instruction at a private pool um calling up the story uh in the background here so um so basically, the, 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 the camp had made an arrangement, and they paid them nearly $2,000 um, to this, um, uh, to this um, country club, I guess, so that students could uh, swim there, could learn, um, learn to swim and improve their swimming. And what the other students and the instructor said is that uh, some of the members began pulling their children out of the pool and were standing around with their arms folded. Um, this is Miss Wright, who is one of the, uh, I guess, the camp director, Althea, Alethea Wright, um, you know, told the media and said, uh, she went on to say that only three members left their children in the pool with us. Um, and then several days later, the club refunded the camp's $1,950 without explanation. And some of the parents are, uh, of the kids who were basically not allowed to, to swim uh, are now weighing their options on legal action. So The internet version was like that, I, that I'm familiar with is a bunch of kids or a bunch of white kids were swimming in a pool. And a bunch of black kids got in the pool. And then all the white kids jumped out like someone threw a baby Ruth in and screamed. <laughs> and then... Um, <laughs> I don't know what like, else. Pretty what, much what, bad things happen. What fucking year is this? Where do kids even learn to behave like that? I don't even yeah. understand well, the report, that. The report that well, gave me that impression, it said something about that they were concerned. I forget what the word was. Maybe one of you. In the original report, the word sounded as though they were afraid that there was going to be like free-floating melanin in the in like the pool water, <laughs> and it was going to like make everyone the same color or something. Well, there was a there was a comment there was a comment where um uh so the club president then went on to say told uh the so reading from the story club president John Dusler told Philadelphia station WTXFF 
WTXF that several club members complained because the children fundamentally changed the atmosphere at the pool, but that the complaints didn't involve race. But I saw a quote where it said, fundamentally changed the complexion. And I was yeah, just that's like, what it was. <laughs> that's what yeah. it was, yeah. So it, might like... just be a, it might just be a poor choice of words. One Maybe time, I, this is, you know how memory is so weird? When you don't know if something actually happened or if you just sort of like j- turned it into a story that you tell yourself l- years later. But it, sure. it just, I know for a fact that I was swimming in our apartment complex pool. And I think that I saw a turd float out from under his shirt. <laughs> but then I can't remember if like it was really the baby Ruth thing. <laughs> but it was fucking rad. It was like the only other time that I bailed so fast was when I was in the ball pool at Chuck E. Cheese and there was a kid and his diaper came off and there was like fecal matter in it. <laughs> Sorry, this is so inappropriate, but I want to just Jesus. make sure we keep some levity. Do you think they do like a full a full clean of all the balls at that? Or do they just try to find they don't the balls ever that clean those balls. You know, Please, they just get like some 15-year-old to hose the ball there? cage down. Like, that's Dude, all they do. Are those places set up in a way that it'd be easy to hose, like the back of a Honda SUV? <laughs> you can't clean them. Like, you should just uh, fucking that... thre- threaten to throw, like, terrorists in there and shit, dude. They're going to throw you in there for, like, five minutes. <laughs> I was gonna, right. I was just going to do a terrorist voice, and then I, as I started to do it, and my mouth started to open to do it, I'm like, oh, racist! The racist <laughs> alert went off in my head. Like, this big red light. So there, so there is, there is. Um, so apparently, apparently, there was another statement that did have that quote that I remembered, which it's. Um, this is from another story, which says tempers flared further after the club's president John Dusler issued a statement Tuesday saying, "quote There was concern that a lot of kids would change the complexion, dot dot dot, and the atmosphere of the club." Right. Maybe that goes to that free floating melanin just a thing. Pun. Yeah. <laughs> right, I think so too. I think you that think was just really? a bad, bad word, bad use of words. Because, there. but you know how it is. Sometimes, like a fucking jawless yokel can really be that oblivious and make that kind of a remark and and have like no no idea. Kind of like well, when I well, started talking about yeah. the. Pool. <laughs> I, I mean, my like, guess oh, is yeah. I don't I don't think he. <laughs> I mean, it was. I think my guess is it was an unfortunate cho- choice of words, just given right. the fact that they were already in a shitstorm and it's only getting bigger. My guess right. is, is that I have a hard time believing at that point, he'd be ready to drop a random code word out there like that. Um, right. But you know, who knows? It's definitely getting pretty, it's definitely getting pretty heated at the moment. Unless we get a video of him using air quotes with complexion. you know. <laughs> <laughs> I think that guy is just uh, probably just a PR virtuoso. That's, I, uh, that's my I guess. A, or, or an I onion writer. The, the, conference with the, with the poor dude who the, this guy you named and guy who owns the place and also from his wife and it sounds I don't know I, listening to her it sounds like maybe the, the guy got a raw deal I don't know it's, hard, it's really hard to know who knows